So last thing, we, we do this thing where, <clears throat> well, actually, yeah, this is going to be one of the first ones, but uh, we're going to, we're going to choose something that, that a cause or something that you're passionate about. And then we're going to create a bot idea. Okay. So it's, you know, kind of giving our thought processes and especially your thought process. So yeah. this is, this is the, the problem that I want to want to fix. And, yep. and you seem to be passionate about social causes. So we can go around that. Yeah, sure. Um, how about you go first, put you in the hot seat. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> good. Um, I'm extremely passionate about our education system. I think there's, uh, I've been to college two times and dropped out twice. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I have, um, I think, a real, okay, one of the biggest problems is when we're 17, 18, 19, I mean, 20, 21, mm-hmm. we don't really know ourselves, meaning our strengths are, are like what we really are good at or what we really enjoy doing. And I think it's because we haven't done enough trial and error. Mm-hmm. Like we haven't tried enough things. So I, I had this thing called like self discovery through trial and error. I actually had a website that connected college students to local small businesses yep. so that they can try and error. Right. So, so I would create a bot that would fix that. That's um, awesome. Yeah. So you should yeah. look into uh, Elon Musk uh, had an interview the other day, or it might've been a while ago. I don't remember, but I saw it the other day and it was about how he created his own school for his kids. Um, right. Right. And not just his kids, but there's, there's like a handful of other kids and his reasoning is sound because you know, it's right now we have this education system where we're saying, you know, uh, kids go through kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, whatever, and they go into this leveling system. That's not technically how you learn, right? You, mm-hmm. you learn by uh, being passionate about things, uh, by picking things up and, and figuring out how they, they work. Um, you know, I could say I was terrible in school. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a designer by trade and you know, I, I had like, I don't know, eight years of art in high school and I dropped out of like, li- like the languages and stuff and whatever. Um, my point is like, we learn at different segments of our lives. Mm-hmm. And if you have a bot that is education focused, but doesn't push out like grade level stuff by mm-hmm. using machine learning and AI, <clears throat> you can kind of advance them through what yeah. they want to do. Mm-hmm. And, and not only that, but you can figure out what the personality is too. So if I really like cars, right. Um, I might do like a math problem or something real world math problem, right? Like mm-hmm. how does, how does like Tesla, you know, uh, how does he configure like his batteries and, and the like length of mm-hmm. the road traveled for, you know, the resistance and stuff like that, you know, like real world problems like that, you can use bots and machine learning and AI and stuff to kind of advance people. So So here's an idea, right? Like as you would take someone through the education levels, let's just say in terms of skill sets, um, the metric would be, can you do this or not? Like, can you make a battery or not? And then the, the bot would understand, okay, you've done process one through six, but it seems like you're stuck on seven. Let's give you a training plan at number seven so you can finish that. And then it'll move to the next accomplishment. Yeah. Right. Then, then you can like spend a little bit more time figuring out mm-hmm. what they don't understand at that point. Um, so yeah, those first levels, you know, or, or whatever that, that um, linear uh, trajectory of your education, you can kind of like whatever. And once you hit that bump, then you can kind of figure out like, well, what's mm-hmm. that bump and how, how can you get through it? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I mean, I think like, especially our education system, bots could definitely help. Um, you know, te- teachers are overworked. I, I know, I personally know teachers and they're overworked, they're underpaid. Uh, mm-hmm. and you know, there's so many kids, you can't spend the time that you need, um, with every kid, you know, 30 kids in your classroom, um, with bots or, uh, you know, machine learning or AI, whatever, um, you can definitely, uh, advance it a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Um, and who, who knows, maybe we'll change our education system because What's, people are dropping out. <laughs> what, what would be a specific problem? Like, so to now it's your turn, right? Like what would be a yeah, specific yeah. problem that you'd want to solve? Um, for me, um, let's see. I mean, there's so much like education is huge. I, I think like, so the U S in general is falling behind with a lot of stuff, economics, education, uh, you know, finance, um, like people didn't teach us in, in high school, real world problems. Like how do you start a business? Um, how do you manage a business? 
I'm 36 years old or 35 years old and I'm, uh, you know, I have my first business. I wish I could have had one when I was, you know, 20, but I didn't know how to do it. I didn't think it was possible or, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Back then. Mm -hmm. So, um, so what I would want to try to solve is just, you know, uh, education and, and our society as a whole, like, I think we're so, I think we're so focused on like reality TV and like all this crap that this Mm -hmm. knowledge, you know, whatever that, you know, people get sucked into because that's the way we created these machines. We created Facebook. So you did spend as much time as you can in them, but you know, like, man, I wish I could uh, have a chatbot that told me how to, you know, um, deconstruct an engine or, uh, you know, make, um, I saw saw something on YouTube the other day. It was like, this guy's building his own like Tesla batteries and it's Ooh. just using like AAA batteries and like, oh, not only that, but then he like flew to Puerto Rico and used solar panels and stuff and powered a home. Like Puerto Rico doesn't have any electricity right now and he's using solar to do that. That's so crazy. Wow. wow. You know? Um, so, so I think that would be my... Um, contribution or uh, what I could try to fix is like, you know, some of these problems to these solutions are not that complex. It's just people don't take the time or they don't have the, the education behind actually learning it. Mm-hmm. I'm just writing some of these ideas down. <laughs> <laughs> I got yeah, a couple cool. of, yeah, I just got a couple of ideas. Like one would be <clears throat> uh, for the, for the classroom, it could be a bot instruction manual. Let's just say it's for a class where you want to build something, right? Mm-hmm. We're talking about like, and you break it down into steps and say, hey, look, you got number one, great. You got number two, yeah. great. Number three, you didn't get it. Here's a training, here's a training video, or like a training right. manual. Right. Um, no, yeah. that, but you can use video as well, right? Yeah, yeah. So you can have like these short snippets of even GIFs, right? Mm-hmm. Um, hey, here, this is, you know, step two, you need to do X, Y, and Z. Um, Oh, you're stuck. Here's a GIF, right? You don't even need a full video. Like right. you just need a GIF. Like, okay, well you screw this into that. And then you plug this into that. And then you're like, oh, okay, yeah, now I understand why it works because I can kind of visually see it. Um, and, and that's why, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I think that kind of stuff's super interesting. Um, and bots, bots could definitely help with that. Absolutely. So, uh, last thing, what, what, what is your advice for, for young bot makers, like for first time or whatever? Um, I'd say, uh, I'd say just get started. Um, you don't have to, you know, develop, you can use like a a bot building platform like chat fuel or many chat or, or anything and just kind of get started. Um, and just kind of like get familiar with the bots. Like, uh, one day I wanted to see like, what's the quickest way I can create a Facebook page and create a bot, uh, and publish it. And it took me 15 minutes to create a page. Uh, and create a chat bot. And it was, it was a, I am Groot chat bot, right? It was, yeah. Groot, you <laughs> yeah, know, that's awesome. and it was, and all it said was like, I am Groot. And then it, like every now and then it would just <laughs> respond different ways. Yeah. Uh, and then it would send out like videos and then it would send out like promotional stuff too. Right. And I primarily use it like just to test. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I use it just to test different uh, theories that I have or tactics that I have. Um, so I, I would say like, just get started. Um, but more importantly, like, don't try to throw everything into the bot, really Mm -hmm. think about the problem and think about what the solution needs to be. Mm -hmm. Because if you try to throw everything into this bot, generally what happens is you mud up the water and like the, the problem is like, or the solution just gets muddy and, you know, it just, it, it, it's not as clear as what it needs to be. So, um, you know, if you can solve a problem, focus on that. And then once you solve that problem, then figure out how, how you expand the bot or mm-hmm. um, things like that. How do you scale it after that? Um, mm-hmm. so, so I would say like, those are the first things. And, you know, once you get the bot done, put it on bot list, see what the reception is from people, see, you know, what the reviews are like and it's a free service, you know? Um, so it's, it's a great community too. Um, and you know, like we, like I said, we do, uh, we do reviews and stuff on, in the Facebook community and we try to help people as much as we can because, you know, without bots, we wouldn't have a website. (laughs) Mm -hmm. 
So absolutely. Hey, thank you so much for your time today, Seth. Well, All thanks right, so Seth. much for yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. Have a good day. Great talking yeah, you to too. you. Cheers. Bye.